Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if it's a little echoey. I'm in my bathroom because it is quiet in here and it's probably the only quiet place in my house right now. Today's video is my December Simply Earth Essential Oil Recipe Box unboxing. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Last month was my first and I was so excited when they emailed me and said that they would like me to review the next few months because I was blown away by this box. This was, I had so much fun with it. So essentially, essentially, essentially what it is, it's just an essential oil recipe box. So they send you oils and then they send you a bunch of recipes where you can make random things like lip balms, uh, room sprays, different scents you can diffuse. And I've been having so much fun with it. I love essential oils anyway, so I just, I don't know. I was really excited when they emailed me. So we are going to get into this month's box. I will say, um, I'll have the website down in the description box if you want to order um, the December box. If you are thinking about ordering it, I would order it right away because it sounds like they're going to sell out. So if you order using my link, you get a $40 gift card for your next purchase. So you definitely want to order sooner rather than later just so you can make sure you get the December box. So she did tell me, the lady that I've been working with, she said they recently launched a starter box because the monthly recipe box have been selling out almost every mid-month. So to make up for it, they came up with the starter box. So basically they came up with a starter box so that you guys don't have to wait as long to get your own box. So if you ordered it like mid-December or later and they were sold out of the December box, you would get the starter box. And it also has recipe cards and it will also come with the free bonus box, which kind of gets you started. Like when I got my bonus box, there was a huge thing of coconut oil and there was a couple different like almond oil and another coconut oil. So it just comes with things that you're gonna need. What's my hair doing right there? All right, so let's get into this. Oh, and I have to say this company is so cute. So I noticed this the first month I got it. <laughs> they put a little sticker here and it says who boxed this it says hand hand packed by cheryl i thought that was so cute like you could tell it's definitely a smaller like more personal company and i love that about them you open it up and it looks like this it's got all the goodies in here so the first thing i'm seeing are the little recipe cards so i'm going to go through and just kind of tell you what what you can make with this month so there's a citrus christmas room spray mandarin and coffee sugar scrub candy cane lip balm christmas candy diffuser blend cold buster roll-on and a peppermint and pine sap and i will say that i have already peeked into this box because i just could not wait and i'm obsessed with every scent that i got because they all have to do with christmas and they all smell wonderful oh yeah and they are coming out with a new i don't know if it's like a partner company oh it's a sister company um Oh, so they use Simply Earth essential oils to create all natural products. That is so cool. Okay, and then so in this box, they did send a little sample of a deodorant. This is the performance formula and it's got different essential oils in it. So well, that's cool that they sent this to try and it smells really good. You can definitely smell the lavender in there. Oh, that smells so good. So awesome. Okay, so the next thing, this is the cutest little thing. So they send you these little stickers and you make your own little essential oil creations. You can put your little labels on so that you know exactly what everything is. I think that's so stinking cute. And also they have like the little dots right here where you can put those on the top of the oils because I don't know about you guys, but my, all of, I have all of my oils in one of my kitchen drawers. So I just pull it out and I look at the top and I can see exactly what oils are in there. So I make sure I grab the right one. But yeah, so we're gonna dig in. I'm gonna show you guys what's in the box and then we're gonna make some stuff. A couple of things I see, I see a little tin here. I'm assuming this is what we make the salve in. I'm assuming. A couple little lip balm. And then there's a couple little lip balm containers so we can make our candy cane lip balm. And then here is just a little spray bottle. I'm assuming this is for the room spray. Also has some little gift tags and some twine, like if you want to put, like if you want to make gifts, like Christmas gifts for any of these, that would be a fun little idea. Makes it super personable, and if you have someone that likes essential oils, I think that's a great idea. All right, so the first oil I see here, this is candy cane. This is what this one looks like. 
And it's cool how on the back it says child safe two plus. So it's so yeah, it's gonna tell you like what ages this is safe for. So the next one we have here is peppermint, and this one is child safe 10 plus. So peppermint, I have heard that you need to be really careful with this around kids. I'm always kind of leery to use peppermint, but I love that they put like the child safe age on there. That's really cool. This next one is Pine Scotch and this is child safe two plus. And this one I already put a little bit on my Christmas tree. We have a fake Christmas tree and I just put a little bit like on the needles and a little bit on the tree skirt and it smells like a real tree. Oh, that is crazy. This literally smells like a pine tree. Hmm. This one is Mandarin and this one says child safe two plus. And this one smells really good too. So it's just so like fresh. So I'm so excited to create a couple things. I'm definitely excited about the room spray. I think that might be the first thing that we're gonna make here. So the cool thing about these recipe cards, it tells the time that it makes to, or the time that it takes to make it, estimated shelf life one year, and then kid, set, kid safe 12 plus. So if you make these candy cane lip balms, you are not gonna wanna let kids under 12 use these. So this next one I noticed was really cool. This is the Christmas candy diffuser blend. And this one, oh my gosh, it takes one minute to make. Um, the estimated shelf life is two years, kid safe 12 plus, and then it also says cat safe and dog safe, and it says no. So you aren't gonna wanna use this one around your furry friends. So I thought that was really cool that they do that. I don't think they did that on the first cards that I got in last month's, so I thought that that was really neat. Okay, we're just going to make the spray right here because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty easy. So, oh, yay. All right, so I'm going to take this little squirt bottle here, and it says to add 25 drops of the mandarin. Here's the mandarin here. 15 drops of the pine. Oh, my gosh, I almost knocked it over. 15 drops of the pine. Here's the pine. 15. Okay, so it says two tablespoons of witch hazel, which I have some witch hazel. And it, what it says about this is vodka and witch hazel help the oils incorporate into the water for a longer lasting aroma. If neither of these are available, they can be replaced with more distilled water. So I don't have a measuring spoon. Okay, so we're gonna do that. All right, now I'm gonna go fill this with some I'm gonna go fill the rest with distilled water and I'll be right back. I'm gonna take these little stickers. So this one right here says Citrus Christmas Room Spray and I'm just gonna cut this out and then put the sticker on. And there you have your very own little Christmas room spray. That is so cute. so good. It's like a citrus pine tree. It smells really good. All right, next we are going to make the candy cane lip balm and you are going to need the beeswax, which comes in your bonus box when you first sign up. You're going to need the coconut oil solid, the sweet almond oil, the candy cane essential oil, and then two of the lip balm tubes. So this was super fun to make and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It smells really good. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my pan and then I'm going to put a little Pyrex bowl over it to do make like a double boiler and you're going to melt the beeswax and the coconut oil in the double boiler. And then now it says to remove from heat and add the almond oil and it says if the lip balm has begun to harden before the almond oil is mixed replace it back onto the heat until it's melted. So I did notice as soon as I poured it in it did kind of solidify so I just put it back over the heat and stirred it for a little bit. And then you're going to want to go ahead and add your essential oil blend and then stir it to combine it. And then it does say to quickly pour the lip balm into the tubes, remelting if necessary. And I was trying to figure out how the heck I was going to pour it. So I wanted to pour it into this measuring cup. And as soon as I poured it in there, it literally started to solidify right away. So I had to put the measuring cup actually back into that hot water to melt it back up. And then once it was melted, I grabbed some tongs and held it with a tong just so that I didn't burn my fingers. And then I poured it right in. 
And I did have a little bit of the wax melt over, like it dripped onto the sides. So once it cooled, I just kind of scraped it off. And then I just stuck the little stickers on there and that is all there is to it. All right, you guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, if you were thinking about getting one of these, I would hop on over there right away because I don't want them to sell out. I was actually supposed to have this box a lot sooner, but something happened with the mail. I don't know, stuff takes forever to get here in Phoenix for some odd reason. So I would have gotten it sooner, but it was a little behind. So you guys should head on over and order it right away. All right, you guys, we will see you next time. Bye.